Hi guys, good afternoon. You're in Vegas, huh? Good, beautiful. Uh, like I say, like, feels like seven, feels like seventy degrees out here. Why does it say seventy degrees? But it says my watch sixty. Uh, I don't care. I'm in a in a jacuzzi right now in December. You know what I did this this this, uh, this uh, New Year's. In the winter range, to uh, you know, uh, just to uh, pull in the, put some rounds down range because you know it's good exercise and helps you release some, uh, release some, uh, release some, uh, what you call this, uh, you know, you know, some, uh, some uh, pressure because you know, like my stress did that, you know, there's two ways to release stress meditation and working out, but I prefer, but you know. Firing a, 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 a weapon of that helps you alleviate that. You know, uh, it's one of those things like playing chess. Helps your mind concentrate because you're, you're, you know, we call this that the operating uh, device, you know, a uh, device, or, you know, a weapon. I call it a tool like that. You know, designed for protecting yourself. So I was firing, I was firing an AK-47 in the range, and wow, that thing is powerful. Then I know uh, there's a couple next to me who had two AR-15s. Even though we're in close range, even when uh, I have my uh, my uh, my, uh, ear, my ear my ear my ear my, my uh, ear protection on, that that thing creates noise because it fires a full metal jacket. What well, full metal jacket means in gun terms, it's, it's a full metal case round, and the bullet is full metal itself. When it hits you like that, they know what we call this that that does damage. That's uh we call it a seven six point two round. In the in you know uh, that's the one that used to Vietnam. Well, I was firing it, and you know, after that, you know, you, you felt like okay, I'm okay, I'm, I'm ready to roll. I'm, you know, helps you really know uh, you know get that angst out, and you know, get that uh, we call us that uh, you know that uh, you know because get that uh, we call us uh, get that uh, you know <clears throat> you know we call us that you know that uh, tension on yourself for that. I don't recommend those people that who like like or, like weapons. Play some people like bow hunting. Some people like uh, you know uh, playing games. Do that. For me, it's this 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 thing here. Am I uh, what I call this? Am I uh, do I do, do I wish harm other people? No. I I know what we call this. I know what this weapon is used for. It's used for what we call this that protect to protect yourself, but also to you know protect yourself from another human being when there's violence on you. Was this up in the military battleground? You know, like we call us that. So that's why I say that. You know, you know, you know, uh, you know. If you own rifles or or, or your handguns, keep it in your house, okay? And we call us that. You know, keep it locked up and safe. Protect your house. That's about it. You know, uh, I know it's dangerous out there, that, but let's face it, that okay? If you carry, you know, uh, nowadays, that if you carry, uh, in in Vegas, it's open and carry out here. Okay, I can you know if I fly my license, I can uh, have a holster walk around like that in the in the grocery store like that with a holster doing a holster uh, handgun. But you know I don't do that because you know why? Mix A. You gotta use your uh, you gotta use your uh, your common sense most often. Okay, don't go into neighbors like that that's bad. Don't put yourself in a bad situation. And. If there's danger all around you that you know you feel like that, you know, <clears throat> protect yourself. Leave. Duck and cover. Do something like that. But you know, let the police handle it. Because the reason is that you know if you're out in the public like that, you know uh, it's a uh, you know you never know if you have a you know uh, you have a gun like that or or a handgun. Okay, let's say you engage a shooter like that. You gotta make sure that there's nobody in between you and the shooter. Like that guy did in Texas like that. Very for him. Kudos for him. He took out that guy. That you know, uh, because that you know, he, you know, he assessed the situation, and he took him out of that. We, well, you know, uh, a lot of this happened. That you know, you know, thanks for the people carrying, uh, you know, uh, holsters weapons because you know why? He was there at the right time. You know, uh, but will I carry one? No. And uh, it's just uh, we call this a is cumbersome. B to that it's just uh, we call this, you know. Uh, Okay, I'm one of those, uh, and we call us that, you know, uh, you know, individuals that is, is pro you know, proactive, okay? But I won't do that, you know why? 
you know, like I was I'm firing that in the AK-47 and other and, and other rifles I was firing in the range and the target there. You know, I I still remember was it when I grew up with that. You know, uh, my aunt's a nurse, okay, in the emergency room in Chicago, okay. And as a kid, that I was taking care of this, you know, by, my, by my aunt. And I saw how uh, what you know, human, fragile human beings are. And that's why I'm comfortable around hospitals. But I saw like all this that you know, uh, you know what human beings can do to each other. Oh, gosh, makes you think, huh? Like all this that you know, you can take a vase to that and you know, and put somebody's head to that. That does a lot of damage. You don't need a, you don't need a weapon for that. You take a shovel, go in, walk in a, in, a, in a convenience store, and knock everybody out, and that's considered a weapon, because the human being that you know uh, we call us that's unpredictable. So, you know, uh, the First Amendment that guarantees your protection, okay? You know, we call us protect you there from you know from uh, harm. Well, use common sense, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, outside your house, of that, you know. It's a it, 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 it's a public environment. Yeah, let leave, leave it to the authorities to deal with it. <clears throat> and we call us as a they're state bonded. B we call us that you know uh, you know we call us they can take the precautions. So sometimes uh, well, let's say the killer that you know they shot him now, okay. And let's say uh, the the guy's family that tries to sue is you. If a cop that is involved, okay. They're suing the state. The state can say, "Okay, here we'll stick in, stick in the court." That's why we call us so that. You know, uh, always, oh, you know, uh, if you can carry a concealed weapon, you know, go for it. If after a choice, but for me, I'm staying. It stays in my house. It's gonna stay in my house for a while. <clears throat> and now uh, because a, it's not gonna. Uh, we call us, you know, if you protect, you know, <clears throat> it's your, it's, it's part of your. Uh, I consider it my uh, what I call us my uh, my hobbies, but I don't I don't go out there uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, show that my multiple. I know uh, I don't go out there to prove that you know I know how to use a weapon. No, I just have the access to that just in case of that. But as I say, we you know uh, we, you know if people that learn you know that's why it's important to have uh, safety weapons and guns that in schools or safety weapons in lawn mowing also. Or how to start a car? That because when the millennials that they have no clue. They have done, most of them are not mechanical. If you teach them uh, how things work, they'll respect it. And also, number one thing. Okay, it's not a gun's problem. That society itself changed because you know why people are drugged up like that. Their people are are on something like that for their, for their depression. I think government should address that <clears throat> because you know why. With cannabis coming out of like that, you know it's more safer. At this time to investigate what's going on with the with the companies out there, you know, because far more companies said that you know, they made the money already, and there's some uh, and there and, and we call this 2020 today. We call this that a lot of people out there need help, and we call this that in the men mentally wise and stress wise. You know, if people get desperate that they'll do anything to get desperate, and that's the thing. And we call this that you know that's why that's why it's very important that you know. And, you know, we call this your mental ability. It's clear. That's why the data, when I go to the range of that, you know, just have fire around. And then after that, I learned to respect human beings. I learned to, to that, you know, we call this that, you know, even a little bit in a little bit in a fraction like that. Let's say bump, you know, like a parking lot. Uh, somebody steals your car, your uh, your uh, your uh, we call this your uh, parking spot and that. Let it go. It's not worth it. So we call this that, you know. Uh, you know, you just have to uh, breathe in and breathe out and say, they, they say to yourself, you know what, this being human, okay? You have to forgive people, okay? Some people are jerks, some people are like, some people are, are morons, but you have to let it go. Let it go. That's why that say, is, you know, we call us, you know, we call us, uh, I'm actually out there that, you know, just, you know, we call us that, you know, we're dealing with people, just, let it go. Okay. That's my that's my experience for the your years. Just remember one thing that you know, you know every you know because everything you know here in Vegas that it's a very good place to fun uh, for fun, and, and we, you can try a lot of things. 
Hey, hey, there's also a way call us you know, people here also jump out of planes for parachutes. Try that. It's an experience. Okay? Don't make something out of it. Everything else in this world is an experience. It's for you. Do not, uh, do not, uh, do not make something out of it. It's only experience. Okay? Bye-bye.